Hi everyone, my name is Ruby Oswere and I'm a fifth year medical student at the University of Nairobi. I'm also the founder and chairperson of Amazon Running Club and I'm privileged to serve as the race director for the 2023 Leave No Medic Behind charity run. I started running in 2019, it was around January. Uh, when I was in my preclinical years in medical school, I experienced a lot of stress and anxiety owing to the very intense academic environment. And so running was just a way for me to decompress, relax, have some alone time. And I really fell in love with the sport. So I became a bit more serious with running in 2020. And in 2021, I started to have a desire to share my passion with others, especially within the medical school. And so I began the Amsun Running Club and it was officially launched in October 2021. And at the time of the launch, I already had intentions for us to organize a charity run for Leave No Medic Behind, which was already an existing charity project at the University of Nairobi that seeks to raise funds for needy medical students. So the charity run was just going to be an additional avenue through which we could gain support from the running community and from any other well-wishers who would be interested to support us while running and also just having a really fun time. So that's, in a nutshell, how the club was formed. When it comes to planning a charity run, I had no experience. I just knew that I had the desire, it was a worthy cause, and it seemed plausible. But I'll be honest, looking back, we were very ambitious because we're medical students, we're already busy. Anyone else who plans a charity run in Nairobi usually has like a full-time staff working on it. They're experienced in it. Maybe they hire an events company. We had none of that. But we had the dream, we had the passion for it, and we had the medical school community open to serve as volunteers. Preparations officially started on the 4th of February, 2022. I remember opening the WhatsApp group, and I was like, wow, we just learn on the job and we go as we as we learn and so we were planning for about four months the first charity run happened on the 4th of june 2022 luckily uh, i was on holiday for the last month of planning that was from around the 4th of may all the way till the 4th of june and that last month was a blur we were learning on the job figuring things out failing succeeding just finding out what goes into planning an event of such magnitude. Really, my team and I, we had no hours in the last month. We would work until there was no work. We had no weekdays, no weekends. It was just uh, trying to do our best to make it happen. And finally, when the day arrived on 4th of June, and um, we, we saw everything coming together, and you know, more than 650 t-shirts being sold, more than 500 500 people coming for the run. It was such a testament to what can happen when we come together and we have a dream and we set the goal and we put God first and we keep moving together. So that's the story of the inaugural Leave No Medic Behind run. I think the first lesson I learned is that I really enjoy management. I feel like prior to this project, I had served in somewhat minor leadership roles, maybe a prefect in high school, but in university I cannot really recall any time that I had a major leadership position or managerial post. And really this was a passion project for me, very, very, very close to my heart. I knew that it needed to happen, I knew that we had never done it before, and I knew that the audacity that was needed um, required me to be fearless and required me to have faith even when challenges were coming about. And I was very surprised by the fact that despite how intense everything was, I thoroughly enjoyed it. The lessons that we learned, honestly, all things are possible. All things are possible, guys. Because really it was a matter of strategizing and re-strategizing. Everything that you saw, everything that you will see, even this year has been organized by medical students. We are not getting any external logistical support from post 
pictures to photography and videography to you know design I mean the uh, paperwork that's needed the permits everything everything is sourced by students and just the ability to put everyone together and find where everyone fits it was so so humbling that truly we had all hands on deck I feel like one of the things that we learned is that you know getting ahead of the curve in terms of time is a priority you know so even when it comes to this year's run we tried our best to start as early as possible we tried our best to get our tasks um, completed and the work plan uh, set out as early as possible and I can say that the wisdom of experience has really come through because at least now we know what are the main moving parts we know what needs to be done when and how to do it and uh, despite the fact that the magnitude of this year's event is a bit larger so the workload is larger you know there is more organization and I've seen a significant improvement in efficiency across all the uh, different departments that are working to make the charity run a success so I have an amazing team let me tell you as a leader you can be the best leader but if your team is not a hundred percent on board a hundred percent committed to the vision you cannot do it on your own I have the best team on the planet and I say that without any fear of contradiction we have 10 departments that are working on the charity run so uh, there is me who's the race director I have my amazing deputy he's called Ogutu and we have uh, an organizing lead team that is mostly in charge of all the documentations we need there are many many letters that need to be written permits to be um, sourced requisition letters it's 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 a whole department just for the documentation and they do an amazing work that is led by Bob Anthony uh, and his uh, deputy she's called Lynn Miner we also have the team that's in charge of publicity they do a lot publicity is in charge of doing the posters you know content captions videos in fact this video that you're watching now has been done by the photography team that falls under publicity and that is led by Paris Mwikali she's the publicity lead we also have the purchases and logistics team that's in charge of sourcing the merchandise that we need that includes the t-shirts the reflector jackets everything that needs to be bought of course we want it at the best price we want all the logistics handled and that is sorted out by Faisal Baraza who's our logistics lead and the co-coordinator for this who is Time Khan we also have on the team the Amsun treasurer who enables us to just stay on top of things when it comes to the financial documentation side of things keeping track of all our expenses making sure that everything is well documented and that is Babu Abuto and we really appreciate him for that we have the sales and finance team that is in charge of the sale of the t-shirts we have two pickup points one in Kenyatta National Hospital one in Chiromo and uh, there are very many logistics around that you know when it comes to taking stock of the merchandise you know the sales uh, onboarding and training the volunteers that are selling the t-shirts so that is handled by sales and finance and he's called Brian Best Furthermore, we have the amazing, amazing team at Amsun Code Community that developed the website for the run. On that note, please go over to our website, www.lnmb-run.org. That website was developed by Wechuli Simiu, who is the ICT lead, and his amazing, amazing uh, coders at Amsun Code Community, Asante Nikwao. Furthermore, we also have the team that is in charge of the venue management. Our venue for the run is the KMTC field. Uh, the run is happening on the 29th of April. And we needed to have a venue manager who is in charge of, you know, sorting out the entertainment, you know, the uh, decor and just everything about and around the venue. And that is headed by Sandra Lucorito. We also have the fitness team that is in charge of marking out the trail, making sure that we have volunteers on the trail that's in charge of, you know, um, using chalk to mark the route itself and developing the training plans for the run, which you can get on our website. And that department is headed by Keith Tongi. It has been a very long journey. Uh, my personality is very future oriented. So I can tell you for a fact, from 4th of June when we had the previous run, maybe I gave myself a mental break of about three, four weeks 
after that, as early as July, I was scouting out dates for this year's charity run. I knew I was going to serve again as race director. It's going to be my final time serving as race director, after which I'm going to hand over to another very able individual to take over the team. But uh, this has been months in the making. And what has really helped is, like I said, getting ahead of the curve. Something like the website, it's been in the works since August. Something like the publicity campaign you see, we've been planning it since January. If there is one thing that has worked for us and continues to work for us, it is we begin early, we are systematic, we are organized, and I can tell you, my team has a spirit of excellence. I do not take credit for it, because it's something that all of us have committed to maintaining throughout the planning process. Some of the highs definitely has been the sponsors that we've managed to secure for this year's event, and we're very grateful to them. Uh, some of the lows or maybe challenges that we've had is the fact that this year I have had no uh, holiday uh, in between the planning season. We have been in session since um, I believe October last year. So the entire planning season we've been in session. You know, we've been having classes and wards and all these other responsibilities. And so finding a way to juggle everything has definitely needed some special grace. But I'm grateful that um, it has been sufficient. And uh, right now a few, a few weeks to the run um, as the day is fast approaching I can say that we're in a good place and I'm hopeful that we'll indeed have a beautiful day and meet our objective uh, as you leave uh, the role of race director where do you want to see the leave behind run in terms of time? One of the things that I found most fulfilling about this cycle of planning is that I've gotten the chance to mentor a very talented, gifted individual who I am confident will make an amazing race director. I won't tell you who it is yet. Come on race day and you'll find out. But one of the things about leadership is that um, it's very important for you to know uh, when your time is over and when it's time to leave the stage. Leave no medic behind, it has taken everything from me. I have given it my all, my mind, my body, my spirit, my intellect, my skill, and even what I did not have, I sourced from others to put it back into the run, you know? And I truly, truly feel like um, it's time. It's time for me to hand over, and I'm so confident in the foundation we've built. I'm so confident in the systems we've built. One of the things that I've discovered in my role as risk director is that I have a passion for systems and being able to create something that is sustainable so when it comes to the departments we have our workflow our system our culture of excellence and just being on top of things and doing everything you can to make sure that it works I look forward to seeing how that vision and that foundation will be built upon by the next race director and the next race director I have no doubt in my mind that 10 years from now the run will still be in existence and it will be even bigger and better than it is right now. I look forward to seeing uh, the fund expanding to taking beneficiaries from all medical schools in Kenya. As of this year, we have onboarded four more universities, but I look forward to seeing what that expansion will look like and just being able to appreciate the small role that I played in beginning this cascade of events. Truly, I am humbled. I am humbled that uh, God placed me in this position for such a time as this. I never expected it. The time when I started running in 2019 because I was stressed, I never anticipated it. But truly, uh, God's ways are higher than our ways. And we are doing it all for our good and for his glory. Thank you. My parting shot is quite simple. When I started running, it was a way for me to make sure that I had the mental and physical fortitude to keep moving in med school. It's a tough journey and we go through different um, challenges in our lives. And for me, Leave No Medic Behind is a perfect representation of what it means to give people hope and to give people um, the stamina and the strength and the resources that they need 
to keep moving. I hope that my story inspires you to see the possibility that comes when you make a vision, you make a plan, and you make it happen. We have been working for months to create the extravaganza that you are going to see on the 29th of April. I invite you all to join us and I look forward to us having a successful day even as we make sure that no medic is left behind. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lynn, Lynn Miner. I am the deputy organizing lead for the LNMB 2023 and I'm very excited to see you, all of you guys, at the run on the 29th of April. Uh, we'll be having lots of fun events after the run and yeah, I hope to see you there. Bye-bye. Hello everyone, my name is Peter Ogutu, I am a third year medical student and I am privileged to serve as the Deputy Race Director of the 2023 Leave No Medic Behind Trite Run. This year's run is going to be bigger, it is going to be better and I welcome you all to attend. So buy a shirt, uh, come for the run, we are looking forward to running with you on the 29th of April. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Lucy from Amsterdam. I serve medical students at the University of Nairobi as the chairman. We have an event this year. It's the Leave No Medic Behind initiative run. Yeah, and we're really excited to have you. It's going to be an exciting run. It's going to be involving. And we look forward to having you. So, yeah. Uh, hi everyone, my name is Joan Wanjiko Masharia, an, an incoming fifth year student at the University of Nairobi. I'm here to invite you to the Leave No Medic Behind Run on the 29th of April. It's going to be fun, it's going to be an amazing day. Hope to see you all there, come out in large numbers and support our fellow students. Thank you. Hi guys, my name is Tessia Chola, level 6, and I'm welcoming you to the LNMB run. If you were there last year, it was good. It would be, we had so much fun, so make sure you come up this year. It's going to be bigger, and it's definitely going to be better. <laughs> Hi, my name is Mo Best, in charge of uh, sales and uh, finance. I'm here to welcome you on the 29th of April for the second annual LNMB run. It will be fun, it will be awesome. Tukona merchandise, moto moto, tumuwa tayarishia, hata isha isha, tume order vitu zingine mpia. So, merchandise haita isha. So, come through. Peace. Hello everyone. My name is Eugene Wachuli. Uh, current level 5, University of Nairobi Medical School. Uh, for the Live No Medic Run, uh, this year we have a website. I'm privileged to serve as the ICT lead, so nimewatengeneze website, please make sure to come, uh, register for the run, and then we'll meet. Uh, this time it's bigger. Hi, so Leave No Medic Behind initiative is one of the greatest initiatives we have as KMA Nairobi Division. My name is Dr. Amina Guled, I'm the KMA Nairobi Secretary and I really, uh, it's, a, it's a good initiative because it promotes wellness because you're running and uh, hopefully you'll join us not just this month but every other month so that we can be running and uh, the cells from any shirt all year through hopefully would all go through Professor Hassan Saidi Foundation to sponsor the children and at the same time make us healthy so in the event uh, kindly join us uh, uh, cheer us run with us and buy the shirts and uh, chip in thank you hi my name is Edgar Muturi the photography lead for the leave no medic behind charity run I'm here to psych you up to come for the run so please buy a t-shirt sign up on the website and see you on the 29th